Welcome back to year number 13, week number 14 for them Cascade Valley Coyotes. This week, though, we got a big game against Texas. We them Coyotes. Now, normally Texas would be a super scary team, but they, despite having a really good overall rating, they are not apparently very good. Four and seven right now. They've only won one conference game the entire year, so kind of feel pretty good. From a recruiting standpoint, we're in a really good spot. We have three recruits left that we're trying to make sure we lock in here. Uh, we have MJ Williams, who is a fantastic corner. And if we kind of look at where we are from a top school perspective, we're good. Everybody's had their visit. Unless something crazy wonky happens, we should be able to lock this dude up. Hopefully he decides before we get into the offseason, because then things get a little more dicey. Schweiderman again, we should be okay. But again, you never know what's going to happen here. Week 14 of South Carolina has their visit. They could completely jump us. Then you have Greg Polk, your mother's favorite player. Uh, he's sitting in a really good spot. They've had their visit. We're kind of climbing up a little bit, but we've got to make sure that we do something sooner rather than later, or he can make a decision and head to Oregon State. And then from a recruiting class standpoint, we're still the number one team in the nation. We're sitting there with one five star, 13 four stars, I believe the most in the nation. We are really that team, but you knew that already. Now, after recruits, we're looking at our Heisman watch. Tyrell Brown's still the number one guy on the board. He didn't really have a great week last week. I mean, you're kind of seeing that he had 58 receiving yards and two receptions, eight carries for 38 yards. We put up a wild amount of points, but most of it was through defense and through the passing game. So not his greatest performance, but this week should be different. And then from a top 25 standpoint, still the number one team in the nation, but we are tied with USC for the best record in the entire NCAA. This obviously is a big game for us because we want to make sure we win this game at Texas, but obviously beating and having a better record than USC is really important as well. They are still in the Big Ten. We are again in the SEC, so there's a potential you know, college football playoff rematch here against two rivals. Outside of USC and Cascade Valley, though, Miami, Boise State, Navy in your top five. Arkansas there with one loss right now with a big game at LSU. Clemson at South Carolina. Alabama at number 21, Auburn. Honestly, if they beat number 21, Auburn, this could be a game that puts them back in the top five, top four situation. Uh, but there's a lot of really good teams. And we have 11 teams that are sitting here at one loss or less. It's going to be a spicy ending. And then from a league leader standpoint, Taylor Reese, so the number one passer in the entire nation on the ground, Tyrone Brown sitting at 20th. Again, not the end of the world for him to be in top 20. Uh, Carnell Killen's having a great year, about across a thousand yards in this upcoming game. Tackle leaders were pretty much all across the board. Sack leaders, pause if needed. Odiari and Jesse Rivers have been balling out this year. And then interceptions, Desmond Simmons sitting at 11th with five. Again, a couple more to keep adding that in already incredible total he has this year. All right, here we go, picking things up at Texas with Tyrell Brown getting the ball to start the game. We need to make sure this dude has a dominant performance. Well, second and five action here. The blitz is coming. We quickly throw one. Carnell Killens getting involved early. What a hit after that crazy move. First and again, Butler's going to slide over in motion. A little underneath. We're trying to make sure our playmakers are getting involved today. Jay Bowen with a seven yarder. Heard this ain't even putting the coaches in the game. The best part of the game is the coaching carousel. Well, second and three. Little bubble screen here. Michael Isaacs. They say he doesn't get the first down, though. Back here, Tyro Brown, another good run from him. Look, this is what we want to see, the offense moving. Isaac slides in motion here with Taylor Reed in the backfield. Beautiful little curl around here. Nice play by Butler to hold that one in. Little screen setting up. Looking to get Tyro Brown out on the edge. He doesn't have a lot of room to work with, and he actually loses the yard. Second down, 11 to go. Oh, my God, what a play by the defensive tackle. First incomplete pass of the game. Third down, 11 yards to go. We need some here. Texas again trying to get a stop. Did not want to throw it to that guy. We misread where we were trying to go with it. And because of that, we're kicking a field goal. Lining up for field goal here. Thornhill in the hold. An absolute boom of a kick to give us a 3-0 lead. Not exactly ideal, but some points are better than none. Oregon State barely wins their game, by the way. What a game against Oregon. So here we go. Our first look at Texas's offense. Again, their crowd has been super hyped this entire game. Got to make sure we lock in a nice dump off pass here. Burton's going to hold that one in and gets about 15. Big blitz here. Keishan Anderson nearly gets to the quarterback, but it's Simmons making the stop on Ladarius Coe after nine. Second and one. Bringing a blitz here. A lot of pressure, and he throws that one away smartly. Ellis puts a guy in motion here. Anderson and company trying to get in the backfield. We're looking to get a stop here. The running back falls backwards. They say they give him forward progress, though. I don't know about that one. Another big run here. Look at that. Good stop by Donald Gamblin. Bringing the blitz. Oh, my God. What a pancake block. Texas might be able to go to the house here. 40, one of the worst running back numbers we've seen in a minute. Unless you're playing 50 years ago, it goes for a big game. Bringing the pressure again. Ellis feels pretty comfortable with those. An absolute dot to Skabinski, who's down at the four. Oh, a little quarterback drawing. Keeps and Anderson drills Cam Ellis. Another big down here. Burton's going to slide in motion over to the right-hand side. Looks like a little delayed handoff. We got guys there, and Keeps and Anderson keeps them out of the end zone again. Third and goal. Can we get a big stop here? Texas again lines up. Going to send their guy in motion. They've been moving their tight ends around a whole lot right now. They go with a fullback dive. Oh, my God. Derek Harris with an angry two-yard touchdown run. Little halfback screen here trying to make something happen. 
Not a lot of room for Tyrell Brown to go. He can't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Fourth and nine, another field goal coming up. So lining up for a field goal here. Go ahead and kick that one. It is going to be good. And because they missed their extra point, we tied the game. Oh, nice pitch out here. Texas trying to make something happen. Reggie Kraft trying to bring him down. He forces him out of bounds. But that is a huge play for Texas. Moving another guy around. They've been really smart about moving guys around in space. Ellis, a lot of time. Throws one, but waits until the last second when he gets hit for his guy. Lodo Lele get open after 18 yards. Louie comes in motion. Another little handoff here. A little jet sweep action. They're trying to run. The blocking from Texas has been incredible. And right now, the team that is in last place in the SEC East is looking kind of good. Oh my God, what a stiff arm in Texas gets in the end zone to take back the lead. Texas right now is feeling the home crowd, giving them a whole lot of energy right now, but we've got to make sure we answer right back. Back at it with the run again, Tyrell Brown trying to make some moves. Great cuts again. He's finding his room every single time now. See how the read all by his lonesome in the backfield. Has a guy as Jay Bohm beating the press coverage and Jay Bohm is going to go into the end zone. It's been a minute. play third down 14 we know they're obviously in a passing situation here running back moves over to the right hand side they throw underneath and he drops it this could be a dicey situation for a field goal so texas will lock up here this is about a little under 50 yards maybe 48 49 hard to tell where the spot is ultimately but the kick is going to be up that one is going to have enough legs to it and they're going to extend their lead to four he's getting a little spicy right now five minutes left here in the first half texas being in a lead is not what we really thought was going to be happening here jeremiah butler trying his best to turn the corner but he just can't quite do it second out four yards to go an absolute dot to michael isaacs who crosses the 50 with a 31 yarder keep it moving here tyrell brown again having a little bit of trouble between the tackles on the carry but still manages to get five. Second and five a lot of time here. Reed floats one up perfectly to Joe McBride, and Joe McBride is out here trying to go into the end zone, and McBride has enough. Go for a two-point conversion here. Reed feeling the pressure, throws one after being trapped. Isaac is going to fight for his bread and get in. Are you kidding me? Two of five left, trying to get more points on the board. We're feeling pretty good right now, but Tyro Brown needs to get some positive gains here, and he gets about three. Second to seven, little play action. Reed again, feeling the pressure, has a guy deep, throws one, looks like Butler. Butler's going to hold that one in, and he's down inside the 15. Back out here again, Tyrell Brown pushing forward, only gets a yard. Ooh, dicey ball. Marcus Morgan had his hands on it. Big down. We've struggled a lot here in these short yardage situations. Brown trying his best to fight for his bread. He gets just enough to be at the goal line. On the goal line, you know what time it is. Give the ball to Tyro Brown. No touchdown vulture here. We need this man to get back to the Heisman. Taylor Reed's been having an absolute ball game right now. The offense has been clicking so well. We are trying to see what else we got. And right now, Taylor Reed says, let me flash the legs real quick. And he's going to stay in bounds. Second and nine going right back at it. Brown again having a lot of trouble running up the middle this second half so far here we go big opportunity reed unleashes one that's gonna be carnell killers who's having a ball game today taylor reed those underneath here a little under thrown there for isaacs but he finds a way to get nine out of that second and one reed under center reed panicking like crazy has an opportunity throws an absolute dot and killers had it one-handed but you gotta have two on it third and one Throws it on a dime, and Michael Isaacs, who's had a case of the drops, he's all year long, drops yet another one. Fourth and one. Give it to your best player, make him go to work. Tyrell Brown makes a miss, and he's going to go into the end zone for yet another touchdown. Texas now down 18, obviously struggling a little bit, and our defense is starting to figure out this little game they got. Second and 11 again, watching the halfbacks out of the backfield. Loda Lule is a absolute star. Big thing Cascade Valley's got to do right now is figure out a way to stop this quarterback who is having an absolute field day. And this run game has been super clutch for them as well. Our guys trying to get some movement here. Anderson judged that a little bit too early, but Simmons gets attacked. Ooh, an absolute dot here again. Texas is firing back. But the QB keeper here. Our guys are falling down trying to get to Cam Ellis. And Cam Ellis having an absolute game on the ground. Ellis game with the play action. Throws one here underneath, but Donald Gamla's all over it. Second and 11. Ooh, we went for the quarterback that time, but it's a good carry for about four. Cam Ellis having a field day as he finds Liz Drick Burton. I don't know how to say his name, but I know we got a touchdown. Third down, five yards to go. Oh, such a close one. Reed needed to put a little bit more loft on that one, and McBride would have had another touchdown. As much as we want to go for it, this game has been a little bit too close for comfort, so we are going to take the field goal here to make sure we get the points. And now we got a 14-point lead with five and a half minutes left. I'm honestly kind of surprised by this. Fourth and six. 
they are deep in their own territory around the 30 or so but they are deciding to punt it down 14 with not a lot of time left and their defense has not really been out here getting stops jay boom oh hold on a second jay boom trying to get a punt return for a touchdown it's been Few and far between this season, but he goes down to the 20, but what a return. Reading Company got an opportunity to put this game away. Right now, we're already in field goal range, but we could easily get a touchdown here and put this one down. Second and three. Reed doesn't quite feel comfortable here. He's going to pick up some yards. Taylor Reed flexing the speed, and he's in the end zone. Things we did not see for a 1,000. Three minutes left. Texas is trying to make something happen, and that's not how you do it. Cam Mello has been fighting for his life this game. Throws one. DJ Byers can't quite get there. Watching a little bit here. They throw one, and that's Simmons with blanket coverage. Ellis stealing the pressure. Throws one. Simmons can't get there again, and it's Little Delayley getting a huge game. Texas keeping that pressure on. These out routes have been cooking our guys. The Savion Shelby pulls him down after 12. Texas again looking for something. A lot of pressure on their quarterback, and he throws that one away as he gets hit. All right, let's see what we got here. Underneath throw again. Big hit by Gambling another dot look they're finding ways to get this ball down the field right now oh big hits that dude was fighting for his life second and ten texas quarterback throws one unbelievable backside throw to james loaded lately for a 10-yard tutty you better believe we're trying to score another one all right texas is down 14 points right now a minute 40 left in college this is still doable they're kicking an onside kick, and our guy, Roderick Johnson Jr., says, I got this one, coach. He's going to get it back to the middle of the field. Keeping it moving. Tyro Brown going up the middle of the field. You love to see a 13-yard rush. Tyro Brown trying to get to the edge here, trying to skirt back up to stay in bounds smartly, and he gets six yards. Second and four. Brown again. What a move to fight forward for eight more yards, making them use their last timeout. Brown continues to have a fantastic game. He's done it on the ground, done it in the air. He's finding so many cracks and crevices throughout the middle of this line. Two rushing touchdowns already in the game. We're trying to make sure he gets the third here. Brown pushes forward and got him in a first and goal. Trying to get a little toss working here. Brown nowhere to run. We're going to call a timeout. We want that man back in the end zone. Trying our best to get one more touchdown for the Heisman hopeful. Brown's going to catch one and gets obliterated. We got one more chance for the young fella. Third and goal. We might be going for it if we get to fourth down. We're trying to get him a little run here. Brown fights for his bread, and they say his fourth and goal. We'll use our last timeout. Coach McMurphy's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brown comes in for the last play that he's going to ever touch the ball in this game. Great block, and he throws up the Heisman, and he's in the end zone for his third rushing touchdown in the afternoon. Recapping the stats, Taylor Reed had a great performance. 344 through the air, two touchdowns, didn't get sacked, didn't throw a pick. He just balled out the entire game. On the ground, Tyro Brown, 26 from 130, three rushing touchdowns, multiple broken tackles. Taylor Reed also got a rushing touchdown today, so shout out to him. And then receiving game, Brown, 5 for 34, Boom, 3 for 66, and one tutty. Isaacs, Killens, all these guys are really well, and Joe McBride getting in the end zone today, too. It was definitely a W. Defensively, Keishan Anderson was great. Eight tackles for him, seven for Gamblin. Those guys combined for seven tackles for a loss today. Uh, we only had one sack, which is by Dono Gamblin. Interceptions, we had none. But I do also want to shout out our guy over here from a kick return perspective. It's me from a punt return perspective. J-Bone, 3 for 61. 20-yard average on punt returns. That is so massive to this team. And when the offense might be struggling a little bit, when you get better field position, when that guy's returning it, it makes it all worthwhile. Be safe, be smart, tell somebody love them. Catch you guys on the next one.